Hi, I'm Chris James, and today I'm just going to briefly go over some of the benefits of the gym water bottles that I've recently started talking about in the Facebook group. This is one of the bottles that I've been talking about. Um, I've got a, several here on display, different um, gemstones, and they're um, extremely well made. The glass has no lead in it. And the actual gems are encased in a glass pod, which I'll show you here in a second. Oh, that had some water left in it. I've been using them. This is my, this is my personal one, but as you can see, the gem pods um, have a little bit of, oh crap, <laughs> I just poured that on my computer. The gem pods have a little bit of, uh, alcohol in them to keep everything clean inside and to keep the glass clear so that it, it maintains its luster. So once again, very well made. Um, just so you all know, this piece does screw off. This piece screws off. So when you go to clean it, you want to make sure you take this apart completely. There's a washer inside here you want to take out. And um, there's also another washer here at the top. This is the lid, right? When you want to drink the, the top here, there's a washer inside. Okay, so you take that apart to clean it. And so now you understand all the pieces uh, to this beautiful, these beautiful bottles. Now, there's several different gym pods that are available. Um, I have a few that are on, that have a, a special pricing available, but Essentially, the price is going to be to is going to vary based on the uh, mixture of gemstones that you're getting. The ones you know that are a little bit more costly to get cost a little bit more. Uh, so anyway, how do they work? Well, essentially, they work on the principle of frequency. Um, everything in our world vibrates and has a frequency, right? The gems are formed naturally. Okay, so just like the rocks, you would you know that that water would tumble down on a mountainside. These gemstones have a natural frequency that's harmonious with the earth. The biggest issue that we have is that we drink water that's completely dead. It's void of energy. It's uh, toxic and it's very, very harmful. In addition to all of those things, it's also what's called bulk water, which means that the, the actual molecule clusters are too big to be absorbed into the cells. So you aren't really hydrating on a cellular level. You're really just kind of drinking water. Uh, one good indicator that you're not hydrating well on the water that you're drinking is if you drink, uh, you know, you drink a couple cups of water and soon thereafter you're peeing it all out. That's how you know you didn't absorb it, right? You're, you're peeing it all out. I have, I have put uh, a couple of processes in place that I've talked about in other videos in order to help increase your ability to absorb the water that you drink. Um, there's other elements of this that I've spoke, spoken about in like my sun water video and things like that, but this is just another piece to the puzzle. Uh, basically what it does is it changes the, the structure of the, the water molecule um, by putting positive natural frequencies and energy into it. Uh, so it affects us in a positive sense just because we're, we're putting positive energy into our body versus negative energy or toxic water. It also has this really, really unique ability to change the taste or the texture of the water. So uh, because of the fact that you're, you're restructuring the, the actual water molecule, um, it breaks down those large clusters, you'll notice that the water is smoother, okay? Most people can tell the difference. One really cool thing I've learned about structuring water and, and you know, having, let's say you use a, a water that isn't purified, right? Maybe it's a filtered water or a tap water. You can still see similar effects even with those types of waters because when you structure the water or you energize the water, it increases the water's natural ability to neutralize toxins and chemicals in the water. So even if you're not using distilled water, which is my personal recommendation, it still will be highly effective. You could just take regular bottled water, put it in there, and it'll restructure it. 
Now, as far as the, the timeline, it takes about seven minutes to uh, energize the water. So you want to make sure to give it that time before you start consuming it. And then also the stones themselves never really need to be recharged. Like I said, everything vibrates. That's just part of nature. So you don't have to um, you know, replace them or anything like that unless the actual pods get damaged. So anyway, that should be about all you need to know about these things. Um, they, they hydrate better. And of course, when you hydrate better, that is, that's going to start the process of healing throughout the entire body. One of the major issues that we have is cellular dehydration. As a matter of fact, I, I'd almost be as bold to say that that's the core issue that we're dealing with because at the core of all of the other issues, whether it's gut uh, disorders or, you know, mucus, increased mucus, there's, um, there's also the cellular dehydration. But, you know, I really don't like getting too much into what's the true core of disease or anything like that. Uh, but um, you'll notice a lot of really cool things. I personally noticed an increased uh, blood flow. Um, I've got a couple stories where I talked about how this improved my wellness on a different video that I will link in the description box if you guys are interested in checking that out. All right, so that's all I got for you. If you got more questions, feel free to leave comments. And as always, the application allows its power, and I will see you all next time.